Hello my little witchlings and today we have a new subscription. It is the witch's moon for the month of November. So I got this in the mail today. I literally, as always, stalked the mailman because it's a new subscription box. I haven't had it before and it was coming and I've been watching it and watching it. I'm waiting for the mailman to call the cops on me because she's like, that girl, she's crazy. She stalks me. But it's here and I have it. So this is one of the two new boxes that I am going to be unboxing on my channel. So I have the Witch's Moon box and I have another magic box too that will be coming this month. But I am so excited for this box. Now let me do some information like you know how much it costs. So for this box for Canada, it costs $69. If you like to um, buy this box in your international, it is $78. And for the United States, it is $54. So, and I will leave everything below in the subscription box so you guys can see all the prices and where to get the box at. So I am so excited to have this box. I have been watching um, some YouTubers um, unbox this and I was like, oh, I would really, really like to get this box and I'm really trying to revamp my channel a little bit more other than just doing beauty all the time because it's not really what I'm into all the time is beauty and we have other interests too and I have another big announcement that I will be making soon as well to show you guys what else I have been up to lately so stay tuned for that too but let's get into this box and let you stop rattling around so when you open it up it looks like this Let's see and there's some papers on the top so there it is right there I'm gonna put it on my desk so the first thing on top is a Oracle card and there is one side of the card and there is the other and it says polar bear solitude friendship strength and resilience I've seen others they get one of these cards every single month it's something that you would put on your altar and just reflect on so the next thing is a parchment paper and this tells us exactly what is inside the box and this month is a witch's journey and I'll read a little bit of this because if I read all this stuff to you guys we are going to be here for two hours. Do you guys really want to hear me ramble on for two hours? No. <laughs> so the truest pursuit of our craft is to connect and retrieve knowledge from higher realms while maintaining the roots that feed into the great soil of the earth. We are constantly connecting with the sight of the unseen and obscure. As we work to follow the path of the wise, we journey into realms that are filled with visions, emotions, and overwhelming healing power. As we spend time, work through different states of being, we truly become intimate with the divine energy that swirls through our very existence. These items within this collection have been created and sourced over multiple calendars and we have been eagerly awaiting to share those tools with you for this very special time of year. So there's that and I will be going back to this just to you know give you guys a little heads up what everything is. And the next thing is this really pretty poem. It says Quest of the Sunless Sea and there it is naturally pretty this is something that you could like put in a picture frame hang on your wall put it in your book of shadows so that is beautiful and then the next thing is this poster it's called the shamic roots of witchcraft and there it is right there and it's just another you know picture that you can hang up on your wall so I'll leave a thing. If you guys want me to have an hour video and read all this stuff out to you, if you do, let me know in the description box below. If you don't, let me know in the description box below because I don't want us to be here all day. So here's another one. It's Moldedite, Magical Correspondence. And this just talks to you about what the uses of this is. But this is another one that you can hang up on your wall. Like I said, put in a picture frame, you know, display or keep on to it. These are very beautiful, beautiful cards and they're very rugged too. So, and there's that. And now this is what the box looks like when you open it up. Oops, some stuff has fallen out. And you get some little wormy worms. Everybody loves the wormy worms. My cats eat the wormy worms. 
So let's see. I I see some incense. So let's see if I can find the page where the incense is. So let's see. We have wild endive root. Let's see if I can find it on here. Wild endive root or uh, dandelion. Yeah, dandelion root. The dandelion root has been a wonderful psychic center to herb in our rituals and meditations. Known for its denivinatory attributes, dandelion root is commonly used to strengthen intuition and psychic abilities. And there you go, and that's what it looks like. Let's see if it has any smell to it. I do have some of this, by the way. Yep, it smells like dandelions. It smells really, really good, though. And these are things that you use in your spell work, so. And the next thing I see is passion flower. And there's another herb. This is a wonderful herb to become familiar with. The passion flower brings calming and relaxing energies into our aura and environment, known for its ability to melt away inconsistent negative energies and thoughts. So there is that. Let's see, the next thing I see is, what's this one? Healer of the Forest Sacred Salt Kit, and it looks like that. And you can see some bath salts in here. And there's some herbs, and then there's like a little muslin bag that you could put it in if you didn't want to like get your bathtub all nasty. And right here, the Healer of the Forest Sacred Salt was created with the intention of bringing natural healing into your physical spiritual and emotional energetic fields as you resonate with the energies of this mixture visualize yourself walking through a lush forest free from your current world restrictions and responsibilities as you walk deeper a bright white and blue light slowly surrounds you providing you with overwhelming healing and protective energies so what this is just trying to is it's just trying to get you into another state so you forget about like what happened to you during the day and just just relax so awesome i will definitely be using this and the next thing i see is another little muslin bag and that's all that is and this is ritual herbal tea Ooh, i love me some tea and i'm pretty sure it's just some um loose tea let's see no, I don't like tea legs, simply so neological likes tea, but I love me some tea. Well, that smells good. I definitely smell some peppermint in that. Do you see? It's like, it's loose tea. Let's see if I can see it on the list. Tea to accomplish during your pre-ritual practices, we have included the herbs of eight ritual tea. The herbs include with the mixture of spearmint. Okay, I was close. I said peppermint. Spearmint. Rosemary, lemon balm, linden, eucalyptus, wood, benetone, blackberry leaf, and euthothorio root. As you drink this small ritual tea, we recommend listening to music or sounds that place you in a calm, focused state. So anytime you were going to do some spell work, um, you would drink some of this tea. So it's a good idea, good thing to have. So the next thing I see is this beautiful handmade candle. Look at this, guys. Look at the end of that. It's like rolled up candle. It's absolutely, and it smells, it kind of has like a, a honey smell and it kind of reminds me of like honeycomb. And it says, um, we have hand rolled and charged this candle with the purpose of guiding you into another state of being. The incantation that accompanies this spell candle has been created as a piece of artwork that can be placed within your book of shadows uh, before you begin, we start to create energy and surround you. This candle can include cl cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone for the purpose ritual. So you would just light this candle when you are ready to do a ritual. Which, I don't know if you want to burn it. It's so pretty. It is, it's, it's gorgeous. So that is that. So now i got to move some stuff out of the way. Okay, so next I see some vision quest. And this is some incense sticks you can see let's see if I can find it we have included the powerful vision quest ritual incense sticks within this collection to aid you in your ability to transcend above your normal thought patterns as you allow the smoke from the incense to waft through your surroundings take time to breathe and connect 
Allow yourself to let go of small and mundane worries of daily occurrences. Give yourself a clean slate to sit upon so that you may transfer during this very sacred and personal time. So that's, that's awesome. I love incense sticks. I have them all over my house. So that is that, and we are getting down to the bottom of this. I'm gonna move some of these little thingies around. So next I see some oil. This is anointing oil. And that is what it looks like right there. You see how it smells real. Well, it smells really good too, actually. Let's see if I can find it in the paperwork. Oh, so it says, we have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of pushing you into higher realms of thoughts while working through rituals, astral travel, meditation, or dream work. The energy of this oil reminds us that we are constant path of learning, developing, and discovering. The ingredients that we are used in making of this powerful blender combined so that we may step out of our own way when working in higher realms. We have enchanted this magical oil with pine, cedar, fir needle, and rosemary oils and have included Jupiter berry and mortwort as well. Inside your oil you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify once oneness within your aura. That's a mouthful. <laughs> we have also included a special mixture of our astral travel and meditation magical oils from our personal cabinetry of witchery. So that's cool. And I can hear it, the thing inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see it. No, because I can't even see it. But it's it's in there. So that smells awesome. So the only thing I see left is there's one little... I think that's it. Yep, that's it. There's one more little box inside the box. Ooh. So first thing I have right here is like a little package. Let's open that up. This is exciting. This is different than my, you know, my usual makeup subscriptions. And this is stuff that I absolutely love. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can find out what this is. Okay. Oh, this is Multivite. And this is what this paper is right here. Is what this stone is right here. And you don't take it out of the package. It just it will, it just sits. Let's see what it says. Multivite with floating frame. We are truly thrilled to be able to include a piece of Multivite within this very meaningful collection. Multivite is considered to be a member of the Terakite family and was formed from a large meteorite that collided into Cypress Republic almost 14.9 million years ago. That's crazy. This specimen was sourced from a very reputable supplier in the industry known for offering some of the finest Multivite jewelry. So that is so cool. So who would have thought? So this would definitely be going onto my shelf. So nothing, nothing will happen to that. And the last thing I see is a naturally shed ant etched antler with ameth amethyst pendant. Let's look at that. Wow. That is something else. That is crazy. It's pretty, but it's it's definitely weird so let's read about this this antler that has been used in the creation has naturally been shred from a stag and respectfully collected over the course of almost two years the process of which these antlers are shed happens seasonally so it does part them they shed them naturally so we're not killing anything okay so uh okay Relating to other magical uses of natural tools, the antler holds within it the spirit of nature as well as gentle yet primitive spirit of the animal it once came from. Incorporated into many magical rituals and ceremonies, the antler holds onto a very long tradition of respect and reverence from the animals and spirits that walked among us in this great and wonderful world. This very protective device holds the ability to bring energy to a more natural state of being, grounded and authentic. 
and return this state allows us to connect to the effortlessly intuition that has held within all things. Etched into the side of this antler, you have placed a 20-second letter of the funk heart in Gwartz. Okay. Let me see that again. Oh, yep, yeah, they did. It's marked right there on the side of it. You can barely see it. Okay, where was I? It is the shine as a beacon of light during dark hours, a very concentrated protective energy. This rune brings safety while working into divine into the other states of consciousness and preparations. Our intentions in bringing this piece together for you are pure heart and mind. We urge you to spend time working with the energy that is held within this pendant so that you may travel to distance unknown retrieving intimate knowledge that comes to assist you as your sacred and valuable path. That is pretty. Like, this is not something I I would probably ever buy, but now that I'm seeing it, it's it's gorgeous. It is so pretty, and I, I'm so excited to put this in my collection. So, so that is everything that was in the box. For, so, for my first box, it's really interesting. I love this. This thing is unbelievable that I have a piece of something that is so old so I must say like I'm not disappointed this is stuff like I can't get where I live if I want to go to a magical store it is an hour away from me and it's not something that I can go and it's only one store so back where I used to live there was more of these stores around so you had more opportunities to get your magical stuff that you would want. And don't get me wrong, I have a huge selection and I want to teach you guys so much more about it. But this just, this helps add to my collection. And it's different. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you will be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Cat is puking on the floor. Bye.